So right now, if something big and scary tried to attack me, I would get up and run. Okay, because I can do that, I got legs. Plants don't. So what do plants do when something's coming to attack them? When a deer comes to want to eat them, when a bug comes. Plants have different defenses. We won't get into them all. You all know about the thorns, you know, that will stop the deer from putting their lips all over them because they got thorns and deer don't want to put their lips on the thorns. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the poisons, like the secondary metabolite, things that make a plant toxic. They produce these things, or bad smells, that repel insects. Think about some of the plants that smell good to us. The plant didn't evolve that good smell to be admired by you. Those are repellents against certain types of insects we just happen to like the smell of. But it's kind of like an evolutionary arms race. As the plant becomes more and more toxic, the bug or the insect becomes more and more immune to that. You know, they're like racing here. What insects have done is they've created this, whoops, hold on, this mosquito is doing too much. <laughs> So, <clears throat> insects have evolved an enzyme that could break down those, they're called secondary metabolites, those like poisons, if you will, so they can continue eating the plants. And so most insects, people think that insects eat plants, and so the insect's going to be after any plants you put out there. But most insects, like 95% of them, I think, are after a certain type of plant, or it's, you know, close, close relative, a certain genus of plants. And so if they don't have those plants, they don't have anything to eat. And those are called larval host plants for butterflies and, and moths because they lay their eggs on these specific type of, of plants. Think of monarchs and milkweed. Monarchs aren't just laying their eggs on palm trees and grass and roses or there wouldn't be a monarch problem, a monarch population problem. But because the milkweed is disappearing, the monarchs are disappearing. But the monarch is just one of millions of stories like that. It's just the popular one that you know, okay? There's lots of the butterflies you see. All the butterflies you see have specific larval host plants. And unless you plant them, you won't have those butterflies. And those plants are almost always natives.